First, the viral photo of contractors with guns on a city-run job site. Then, a Confederate flag and Ku Klux Klan image on a lunchbox at another city job site. Workers, in each case, employed by American sewer services. Today, the owner of that Hartford area company was supposed to answer to city leaders, but he didn't show. First and foremost, I want you to know that I share your outrage. Citing medical service. reasons for his absence, the owner instead and sent an employee in his place to read a prepared statement and nothing more. Unfortunately, I'm not able to answer your questions. To not be able to show up or at least not have someone from the company who could answer questions is ridiculous. Sending in the sacrificial lamb, I mean, send in your lawyer, send in your, your somebody who's in a position to speak to the facts here. But Council President Ashanti Hamilton said with or without the owner present, something has to be done. But one of the things that the community is saying is that there has to be consequences when you blatantly display that. American Sewer Services currently has 11 contracts for jobs like this one and has done more than $50 million in business with the city in just the last five years alone. But now some aldermen want the city to cut ties with the company. We could get a better contractor, that's what I hope. A better contractor who won't make these type of irresponsible mistakes. The full council is expected to vote on policy changes stemming from the incidents on Tuesday. In Milwaukee, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News.